Good morning in Shavua Tov. The opening verse of this week's Torah portion is God telling Moshe, Come with me to Pharaoh, because I have hardened his heart and the heart of all of his servants in order to perform great miracles in the midst of Egypt. And what God was telling Moshe was, I know you might be discouraged. You've tried seven times up until now to persuade Pharaoh to let the Jews go. And each and every time he promised he would free the Jews. And then he relented. He went back on his word and changed his mind and hardened his heart. And now I'm telling you to go for the eighth time. And maybe you're feeling, what is the point? So God says to him, don't worry. I am going with you to Pharaoh. You're not going alone. Have no fear of Pharaoh. And second of all, yes, his heart will be hardened, but never forget that I'm the one who hardened his heart. And the reason why you're going to get rejected and he will, you will encounter a hardened heart is because I have a greater plan to perform more wonders and miracles in the midst of Egypt. And you will be able to tell your children and grandchildren for thousands of years on the night of Passover about the wonders and the miracles that I performed in Egypt. And here we have a recipe for how to deal with difficult people. We all have to count, encounter and challenges and people who are obstinate, who are stubborn, who are not willing to heed the message. And sometimes we may fall into dejection or despair and feel, what is the point of dealing with these people? Why do I have to deal with the pharaohs? But the Torah says, listen, first of all, remember that whenever you're going to do something good to stand up for what's right, you always have God on your side. And second of all, realize that there's a greater plan. And therefore, if you remember that Hashem is in control and that ultimately all will turn out for the best, then you will have the courage and the strength to be able to deal with difficult people. And with this confidence, Moses goes forth. Until today, we recall the miracles that occurred in Egypt. I heard a story recently about this fellow who came to his Rebbe. And he said, Rebbe, I have a problem. I'm very temperamental. I have a anger problem. I have a short fuse. I easily get angered and lose my temper. And I know it's wrong, but I can't seem to be able to control it. The Rebbe said to this follower, to this chassid, okay, go wait in the ante room. Go wait outside in the hallway, in the lobby for a few minutes. And he goes out to sit in the lobby. And then the Rebbe calls in his gabai, his assistant. And the Rebbe says to his gabai, I want you to go and get me a hot tea. And on the way back, accidentally spill some hot tea on this fellow in the hallway. The, the Gabbai says, fine, he goes out to make the hot tea. When he's walking back, he pretends to trip and he spills some hot tea on this chassid. And the, the fellow says, oh, I'm, the Gabbai says, I'm so sorry, I spilled the hot tea on you. And the, the chassid says, it's okay, don't worry, it's an accident, it happens. And he wipes off the wet tea and he says, don't worry, it's okay, it's no problem. After he brings the Rebbe the tea, the Rebbe calls the chassid back into the room. And the Rebbe says, I just overheard what happened. My assistant spilled hot tea on you and you didn't get angry at all. You were very calm. You were very relaxed. You said, it's not a problem. So you don't seem to have such a temper. And the chassid said, Rebbe, I have to be honest with you. I overheard you telling him to spill it on me. And so I knew that you were just testing me. So I therefore didn't want to fail the test. So I said, yeah, no problem. And I didn't get angry. And the Rebbe said, that's exactly the point I wanted to share with you. Every time someone provokes you, every time someone angers you, and you feel anger coming over you, or if you feel depression or dejection when someone rejects you and you feel saddened, Remember, it's all God testing you. God wants to see your reaction. And therefore, if you remember that it's merely a test from above, that this person was put in your life to test you and your character, and that's why God put this difficult person in front of you, then you will have the strength to overcome and to respond appropriately and in the proper way. And that's what God tells Moshe. Don't be afraid of Pharaoh. Don't be afraid of his heart and heart. Don't get despondent and dejected. Realize that I am with you, I have a plan, and it's all gonna bring about more wonders and more miracles. Have a wonderful day.